Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back again. I'm back for a new video after, oh my god, I can't even just like have my intro anymore. I come back every like other month I come out with a video and I actually haven't uploaded in two months because school and this is my senior year and there's a lot of stuff going on. It's very stressful, but I'm trying, okay? Um, so... Today I have a little um, story time video. <laughs> Hopefully I don't make this video too long because whenever I tell a story I always go off on tangents. But it's a little like character development story because my last story time video was um, running, running away from my crush. And do story time videos <laughs> um, asking my crush out. So basically how Yes, I asked my crush out. Um, if you're not already comfortable, you might as well want to get comfortable because this is probably going to be a longish story time. First of all, I need to replace the name of the boy. So instead of his original name, we're going to go by Walter. This was actually my sophomore year, so like a year and a half ago, almost, almost two years ago, was... Wow, that was so long ago. So like throughout the whole like school year, I had this crush, well not really throughout the whole school year, but kind of like it. I had this crush on this boy, um, Walter, and um, I never really talked to him, of course. He was just a crush. I had like admire him from afar. I had uh, English class with him, and I sat like a few, like a desk or two like behind him. He was funny and cute, and I liked him. We were both in orchestra. Again, another boy in orchestra. If you saw my last um, story time, the last boy was also in orchestra with me. And every year our um, music department goes on a spring trip. We always have like a mini boat cruise, like a really small one, um, a boat party um, on like one of the days of our trip. And he was on the trip, I was on the trip. My friends and I were on the trip because we we're on orchestra. They knew I liked him. Well, at the mo it was okay, so it's really complicated. Like, throughout that trip, I tried talking to him, and that's when I was like, oh, shoot, I really like him. Like, I really have a crush on him. I tell my friends that I like him on that tr on the trip, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I knew it, or whatever. And they're like, okay, we have to get you to talk to him. I'm, like, really shy. Well, I was, or not, I'm not as much now, but, like, then I was, like, really shy, and I was like, no, that's so embarrassing. I don't want to. I literally have not talked to him like at all. Like I, I probably have only spoken like a few words like in class for like a project or something. But I had not like actually had conversation with him. So I'm pretty sure like he didn't even know who I was at that point. But I was like, okay, whatever. If I want to like, if I want to do anything ever, I have to just put myself out there. So I me mean, being weird, I, I want to take like I ask him for a photo. But, but it's weird because, like, I never talked to him. Uh, yeah, I go up to him, I'm like, hey, Walter, um, do you mind taking a Jack and Rose photo, styled photo with me? And if you don't know what that one is, that's the one with, like, Rose, and then Jack's, like, holding her, like, for the front, like that. So I tell him that, and he's like, yeah, sure. And like, he's so nice, like he didn't even mind. He says, yeah, to the picture. So we take the photo and then like another friend joins us in the photo, it's funny. Uh, the photo was okay and then I asked for another picture, like a better one. But they were all the pictures we took were like bad either way. So whatever, I get the photos. In my head, I'm like, yes, because I finally talked to him. I asked for a picture with him. I'm like, yes. Right, the trip happened, that was done, that's over with. Go back to school. Um, the trip happened in like around April by the way now we're like We're done with we're like in April almost done with April whatever. I got a snapchat on the, on the trip so like I Tried talking to him on snapchat, but I don't like he was really never on his phone He like he, he's not like a big phone person So he'd always respond too late So I just gave up on like trying to have a conversation with him on snapchat, but like we had a streak or whatever I'm pretty sure yeah, and so I still have English class with him. I still want to like get somewhere I don't know like actually talk to him more the month of May was like our school had like a Sadie's dance where the girls like break tradition or whatever and ask the guy out for the dance instead so now you can see where like the titles coming into play I told my friends that I like I, I wanted to ask him 
but like I, I didn't think I had like I would have had the guts to do it one day I'm pretty sure it was a Friday that same day my friend and I like we were trying to come up with like the best pickup line for the poster so I could ask him and our first one was terrible he was also like class president by the way of like our class or something like that so we wanted to make the poster something like funny Mindy my friend that was making the poster I was texting her the entire day like oh my god I'm so nervous I'm not gonna do it like I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do this anymore I kept on texting her even like in the class period like I was gonna ask him right after class because she had my poster so I'll put a picture of the poster if I can remember it and like I'll insert videos or whatever but she was the one that made the poster so she had the poster with her the whole day and she was gonna meet me after class outside of the door like I was just gonna ask him if I could talk to him outside for a second or so we're I don't know we didn't really figure out the details yet like near the end of class comes and Mindy texts me she's like okay so um we're bringing his sister he has a twin sister right and she's like oh yeah so we're bringing his sister his sister brought all her friends so there were like 10 people outside of my classroom waiting for me to ask him and I was like, okay, I'm not, I can't do this. <laughs> Somehow I like built up the courage. I go outside and Mindy, I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it. We just needed to figure out an excuse to get him to come outside of the classroom. So his sister's like, I got this, I got this. And his sister goes in and she's like, Walter, um, mom, there's an emergency. Like mom needs you. Mom needs to talk to you right now. Can you come outside like the classroom with me for a second? Like, um, she, she gave him like some excuse that was like, like serious he came out of the room like nervous or something because his sister gave him that like feel and I'm standing outside of the classroom waiting with my poster when he comes out I'm holding my poster and I say hey Walter let me be your first lady at Sadie's like because he was okay pause <laughs> Oh yeah! That is so corny. Like, let me be your first lady at Sadie's, because he was a class president. Or, and then this is where it, like goes wrong because Mindy had thought like Mindy and I had thought he was class president, but he actually wasn't. He was like part of the class, like sec, like whatever student body, but he wasn't the president or something like that. Like, our posters didn't really make sense, but it, eh, like the thought that counts. He said yes, and um, then we hugged, and then we took pictures with the poster and me, and here they are. So yeah, I had asked him to the dance, and but the bad thing, the terrible thing was that the dance comes, right? And so we go to dinner beforehand with like some of my friends, and so we're all like on a group date I don't know if it was me or if it was him but it was really awkward well I personally felt like it was kind of awkward and I always feel like everything's awkward though but like I don't know with the conversation we couldn't make like good conversation we like I, I think I tried we tried but it was just like kind of awkward and then the dance was even worse so it was awkward I was awkward and we didn't really like talk during the dance like, we didn't really dance either, and I don't want to because I was like, oh my gosh, this is awkward. What in the world? And this is the realization that I was like, dang, my crush is awkward. Okay, even more awkwardness. Like, if you want to, like, oh, feel awkward. Right after the dance, we hugged, and it was like, oh yeah, thanks for a nice time. And later, I t text him that same night. I'm like, wait, do you want to go see a movie? Cause I was like, I was like, dang, that was really like, uh, I was like so awkward. So I wanted to go see a movie. So then he's like, yeah, sure. Um, so he meets me at the theater, and then guess who decides to join me for the movie? My mom, my dad, my sister. My my whole family just wants to come join the movie going to watch the movie with me and my crush. I make them sit on the opposite end of the theater and I'm like, please sit over there. Don't look at me. You don't know anything. I'm going to sit all the way back here with my friend. And oh gosh, that was, that was embarrassing. So we watched the movie. The movie was fine. Nothing happened. Um, again, it was awkward. That's when I realized I'm like, dang, 
I don't think I like my crush. Then at that point, I think I messed up because I'm pretty sure that's when he actually started liking me. He asked me on another date, like, oh, the following week, and I agreed. The day of the date when I was going to meet him, I, th I didn't think it was a date. I just, I think, I'm pretty sure he asked to hang out, and I was like, yeah, sure. But it was a date, and I, like, I knew that. Like, I secretly knew that, but I didn't want to, like, admit it was. So I bring my friend along. I bring Mindy and another friend. He was, like, you could tell that he was mad that I had brought them along because I, I didn't tell him. Like, literally, when we were there, when we met up to go hang out to date, I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, I brought my friends, and they're right here. I brought my friends along. Literally just made them come with me. That, that was awkward. Oh, gosh. Thinking about sophomore year me, that is so ugly and cringy. We still, like, Snapchatted after that, but it never got to anything more. I just, it was awkward. He was awkward, I was awkward. So then we stopped talking after that. But what was funny is that along the time period of like after Sadie's, one of my other friends went up to him and was like, are you and Ashley dating? And he responded with, I don't know. I'm not sure. What? If someone asks you if you were dating someone, it's either like a yes or no answer. It's not like, I don't know if we're dating. But yeah, but I don't know. That story was really messy and I was just going off everywhere. So I apologize for that. That's basically the story about how I asked my crush out. And then once he had like, once he liked me, I lost feelings. Yeah, I feel kind of bad. I hope you enjoyed that me like oh living my past again all that cringe thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe i upload whenever so subscribe to know when i do and if you want more story times again um give it a like Comment any, like, weird story times you have with your crush, if you want. Peace! Yeah.